Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to explore the new features of the Microsoft Teams meeting room. So let's start. First and foremost, when you are conducting your class, you are going to be directed to this page. So you can see here the new setup of the Microsoft Teams meeting room. So we got here the participants. So we may show or hide participants. We have here the chat. This is where you can write down questions or students' responses. You can also hide the conversation or the chat. We get here the raise your hand. Students may use this raise your hand when they are they wanted to ask questions or they wanted to answer your question. It will also when the students raise the hand, it will be shown here on the participants. Okay, students may also lower the hand or remove the raise hand icon on the participants. We got here the more options button, the triple dots. We got here the device settings. If you are using microphone or a headset, this is where you have to go. So we have we have here the audio devices, which I am using now, the Samsung Level U hands-free Bluetooth speaker. We got here the headset and the microphone. Also, you can set up here your camera if you want it to be HP or HD camera. Other options will be the meeting notes where you can write the notes or the list agendas that you wanted to remember during the meeting. We got here also the background effects. If you wanted to put background effects on your screen during when you are showing your camera, you can have here turn, off, turn on and turn off live captions. If you wanted to record the meeting, you have to click on the start record. We got also the dial pad and an icon for turn off incoming video. Here we go. So if you wanted to show or to turn off your camera, just press on this camera icon. If you wanted to put your self on mute, click on this. And this arrow will be on the share content. If you wanted to share some PowerPoint presentations and other features like whiteboards, you can click on here. Another important features that is showing here on the participants are the added options for the attendance. So click on the triple dot here, more options. You can download automatically attendance lists. So when you click on download, the download folder will be shown on your screen and you can already copy that. And it will direct you to your folder or to your document for that. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you have learned something new today. Till next time, bye.